Manny, wake up. We've got company. Who? Says her name is Margaret. Marty? I told you yesterday I'm in. They don't suspect a thing. I knew it from... Everything is going according to plan. I'm Marty Saybrook, and you're the woman who's trying to set Todd Manning free. I think we should talk. Marty? You can call me anything you want, lover. You and I shouldn't be talking, Dr. Saybrook. And you shouldn't be defending a psychopath, Ms. Delgado. I know you're friends with Nora Hannon, but if I were you, I wouldn't take your cues from her. Little chat she had with Todd in jail, that's what allowed me to convince the judge to change Todd's plea from guilty to not guilty. Yeah, that was very clever, but not surprising, given your history with Todd. Married him for $5 million? and then fell for him? Not so clever. But typical of women who get too close to Todd. I learned my lesson. That's why you flew in to defend him? Every defendant deserves, deserves his day in court. That, that, no, that sounds like a woman who's learned her lesson. When exactly did you put it all together? Was it after he threw you out of his house half naked or was it after he punched you in the face? Or perhaps it wasn't until he convinced you that he had a split personality, only he didn't. I see you haven't forgotten how to use the internet. You may know how to work the system, but I think you've forgotten what's important. <sighs> what do you want, I Marty? want to know why you would defend Todd Manning after everything he's done to you. Margaret, what do you want? You. I want a second chance. Ah, get off me. You're dead. <laughs> and you're as cute as ever. Oh, don't push me away, Todd. We had a child together. We were lovers. I want a do-over. Lovers, my ass. And you don't get any do-overs. You're dead. Well, admit it, Todd. If things were different, you would want me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never wanted you, Margaret. You raped me, remember? And you raped Marty, too, but she gave you a second chance and you fell in love. That's all I want, Todd, is to fall in love with you again. Just get out of my head, Margaret. You're not real. That's too late. <laughs> I'm in your head for good, Todd. We had a child together, which is more than you and Marty can say. Besides, I've changed. You <laughs> still alive I would be different you haven't changed and I'll never want you you just you make me want to puke Margaret if you weren't already dead I'd kill you now you know how Marty feels Annie it's time for court I didn't fly to Todd's defense I happened to be in town when I heard that he was in jail I visited him out of curiosity more than anything else. But when I learned that he wasn't hiring an attorney, it became clear to me that he was in some kind of altered state. And no, by that I don't mean that he was unable to tell right from wrong. I mean he was unable to act on his own behalf, which is why I stepped in. I see. So you're just an angel of mercy. Every defendant deserves... You? I'll admit I fell for him, but I didn't know what he had done to me. I didn't know who he was. You knew everything about Todd. How could you let yourself get involved with him? He can be very charming. I guess I overestimated my ability to walk away from him. Well, I couldn't walk away from him. 
And when I could move around, he posted a guard, an armed guard outside my door, which means effectively I was a prisoner. And then he lied to me. He told me I had no friends. He told me I had no family. And then he brainwashed me into believing that he was the only one that could keep me safe from enemies that he invented. That's why I believe that he raped me all over again. And you want to defend him? How could you possibly think you were doing the right thing? I'm just curious, Marty. Are you angry at me for representing Todd? Or are you just jealous at hell that once upon a time?